Good morning guys. Another beautiful day here. Uh, <clears throat> got a few things planned for today. We'll see if I could get everything done. Uh, I'm going to start with this. Originally bought a replacement fuel filter. I'm trying to get all the filters to cat filters rather than the Napa stuff that's on there. So this was a part number that was given to me, but upon inspection and holding it up there and test fitting it and whatnot, it looks like it's going to be more of a headache than it's worth. Got on the Facebook LMTV page and was given this part number. So we're going to try and swap this baby out. The other thing I need to do is, now that we've got about 3,000 miles on Able, I'm going to rotate the tires. The back ones and the front ones have a difference. Uh, the fronts are about a sixteenth of an inch less tread than the rears. Uh, the spare over here is brand new, so I'm going to rotate that into the mix. You can see it's still got the little nubs on it. So I'm going to rotate that into the mix. I'm going to put all the heavy tread stuff up front. I'm going to take the lower tread fronts and put them in the rear. And then when we were having work done out here on the street, which is finished by the way, except for painting some more lines maybe, uh, I backed up onto the curb here and chunked out the tire pretty good on this one side um, it's not bad it doesn't go deep it just chunked out a couple it took out a couple chunks of it so I'm gonna keep this one as the spare so we'll go down go around and rotate them all uh, I've got a couple tips and tricks from some of the guys on the Facebook LMTV page I'm gonna put to use and we'll see how that goes also have a delivery that's supposed to be here today from the post office. Lately they haven't been delivering until like 6 o'clock at night, which is ridiculous. I don't know what the deal is, but if I get those things, I'll share that with you guys too. Those are quick installs, and I'll kind of show you what's happening. But let's start with the fuel filters. We'll see we get that done first. Something else I wanted to show you guys is that I uh, went to Wally World this morning, and they currently carry... My favorite paint, which is the flat black professional um, Rust-Oleum in a can. The only difference is this is lacquer based and this is oil based. So I think I'm going to do the inside of the wheels with this, brush them up a bit, clean them up a bit, get the inside of the wheels painted as I rotate them around. I got the cab tilted up here. And see, I want to get rid of that Napa filter and put a cat filter in there. I've just always, I don't know what it is with Napa. It's like every time I've gone in there, something costs 10 times what it should. So uh, I just don't like the Napa stuff. I know some of you guys like it, but for me, it just doesn't work for me. Anyhow, I got that exposed. I got a filter wrench here. I'm gonna try and get that off and then get the cat one on there, get it primed to get it started up. And then I got to center Abel in the driveway a little bit better so I can rotate the tires around. All right, <clears throat> I got that cat filter on there. I basically destroyed the old one getting it off of there. Um, pumped the primer bulb about 150 times. I guess we'll try to get it started up. There might be a little bit of air left in the filter. We'll see what happens. And then I got to get Abel centered in the driveway so I can rotate the tires. Okay, guys. I got this uh, Stark Industries, uh, Tony Stark, Iron Man, haha. -ha. Um, torque multiplier, which I'm going to use to break free the lug nuts, and then I'll just use my impact gun wherever it's at. Here it is to get them off the rest of the way. I get the spare down because that'll be the start of the rotations and the jack and all that good stuff. We'll get that set up. All right, guys, I got the spare down. A uh, little trick that I've been using for years. A lot of people wonder why spray paint doesn't stick while well, it's in the prep work. You want to make your prep work easier? 
get 90% or greater of isopropyl alcohol, put it in a spray bottle, spray it on whatever you're going to spray paint, and just wipe it down. I don't know what it is, but spray paint will stick to this stuff like glue after you do that. It must be like a primer or something, or any surface, plastic, um, metal, anything. It takes off all the rust too, all the big spots of rust. So I'm going to hit it up here with some black paint, and then I'm going to get the truck jacked up and get that first tire off. Alright guys, I got all the uh, lug nuts off. This thing is awesome. Um, if you don't have one of these, they're about 60 bucks shipped on Amazon or eBay. They have various names. I don't know, I just like the Stark one for whatever reason. But it comes with this aluminum extension, which I found works great with a 32 millimeter gator, gator grip socket. This one I beat the living hell out of. You can see a couple of the needles missing. But um, it just slips on the end of that square drive. So once you get them loose, you can make the lug nuts fly off with this gun. Everything's left-hand thread, so it's the opposite of what you think. Uh, on this wheel, at least, anyway, is what I discovered. I started off tightening instead of loosening. I hope I didn't fuck anything up. I don't think I did, but... Uh-oh, bad word. These hubs are actually in really great shape. Uh, I had Joe good enough go through the whole truck and... Uh, get everything dialed in before I took it from him but uh, he redid all the hubs and everything when he had it so I don't know if I should put a coat of black paint on that or not I mean it's not rust that rusty at all but maybe I should just do it just for the heck of it since I have it apart I guess it wouldn't hurt so I guess I will put something on there yeah that looks better I'm going to have to repaint all the wheels anyway once I put them back on with that can of oil-based paint. That stuff sticks to the rims like glue. So, all right, that one's done drying. So that's going to be going on here. One down, three more to go. I figured out that that, um, oh, what do you call it, the torque multiplier. It uh, takes about I don't know, 25 to 35 foot-pounds with the hand crank to equal about 450 foot-pounds. So on the fronts, it's just as the wheel starts to turn while you're turning the hand crank. If you're not touching the wheel, the wheel will start turning. That's a perfect torque for those lug nuts. On to the next one. Also wanted to give a shout out to Patrick Foley Sr off of the uh, LMTV Facebook page but the shovel was a great idea um, if you stick the shovel under the tire you can manipulate it and move it around pretty easily to get it lined up with the lugs that it needs to go on so that's a great tip for you guys that are swapping these out probably be good to carry a shovel with us too in case we do have to change a spare tire all right number two is done or is out here helping me. I don't know exactly what she's helping with, but she's out here helping me. The other one, paint drying. And we're set up to take number three off. Been out here for about three hours now, so it's, I mean, it's not taking too long, but we'll just keep going. It's pretty easy, just time consuming. Almost noon. Got one to go. This guy. Get this one done and then uh, pressure wash everything, go for a test drive, come back and then paint the uh, wheels again. Alright, I got the last one on there. By myself? Let's see here. What time is it? It's about 12.30. So I started around 7.30. So by myself I got it done in about, I don't know, five hours. Still got to get the uh, spare mounted back up here, put all the tools away, and then we're going to pressure wash. But first, I have to go in and have some lunchy and take a little bit of a break. I'll be back. 
All right, guys, I went through and pressure washed the wheels and tires and a little bit of the truck. Got all the grit, grime, and grease and oil off of everything. And look at the spare, how much cleaner it is. So I'm going to go for a test drive, make sure everything works okay. And then we'll come back and do some uh, oil-based painting on the wheels there. A um, little trick that I used on those wheels, or you can use them on anything, this on anything pretty much. I even use it in engine bays. Just be careful if you put on anything anodized because it does um, etch anodized aluminum. But uh, this purple power stuff, just put it in a spray bottle. Spray it on whatever you want to clean. Let it sit for five minutes. Hit it with a pressure washer. Nothing's standing up to it. So it'll get all that crap off of uh, your wheels and tires. It's good stuff. All right, just got back from, oh, maybe a 10 mile drive. Everything rides nice and smooth. Nothing's awkward or weird or different. Uh, so I'm pretty proud of uh, getting that rotation done. Didn't get rid of the nubs on 10 miles, but I'm sure those will disappear soon enough. So I'm gonna get some uh, rubber gloves on and some paint and a brush. And I basically just do laps. So I'll just go from one tire to the next tire to the next tire until I'm happy with everything and then that'll be it for painting the wheels back to black. Took about two laps, but I got them done for now. I'm going to let those two coats of paint dry. And then uh, I might add another coat at a later date. You can always touch these up. It's, that's why I like doing it with the brush. It's easy. Oil-based stuff is really strong. So yeah, remember when I told you guys that uh, I had a package that would be arriving today? Well, I, I got it. Uh, shout out to Derek Brink from the LMTV boards. I was looking for some pieces and uh, he responded back, so let's open this up and and see what we got here might have a tear seal on this okay so we got a couple of items here looks like a magical black box i'm going to show you what that is here in a moment and this right here, which is the main part of the package, two sets of these. So, I'm sure you guys can figure out what these are. I'm going to show you something that I couldn't believe on the truck. And I was going over it. Blu-ray says hi. Anyways, those are the top ones, but here I'll show you guys. So if you look at this side, there's something there, right? If you look at this side, there's nothing there nothing on the bottom either I know it's hard to see but so they're cab mount bushings and uh, Derek was super duper kind and he sent me two sets of these so if I ever need them for the other side I'll have them now this other item here I'll do this one handed if anybody wants to send me a Note 4 phone holder to film some of this stuff. I'd be really gracious. I keep saying I'm going to get some more stuff to help uh, film stuff on my channel, but I never really get around to it. So, you guys guess what this is? Yes, that's the normal color they come in. Hmm, what is it? Here's a hint. See the part number? 
This, my friends, is off of an MRAP. And I know you're all going to say, now what, what the heck do you need that for? Well, on an MRAP, they run tire pressures higher. So, your highway pressure is 75 PSI instead of 55. So this little box is going to net me a couple more miles per gallon just because I'm able to run a higher pressure. So I'm going to start with these cab mount bushings because that's been driving me nuts looking at it that way. And then uh, we'll move on to the CTIS controller. All right, I got the bushing out. Put it in the new, or got the metal sleeve out and I put it in the new bushing. But uh, you can go in through this winch hole here. It's actually pretty easy. It's just sitting right there. Uh, and then what I have to do is uh, pump up the, the cab tilt a little bit to slide this in and then I can reassemble everything. Um, I use a 32 millimeter deep socket to get that off by the way. Well that was super easy. Took about 15 minutes with that gun there. I don't know if we can see up there. I greased everything up with this uh, Pick up a tube of this stuff, I use it on everything. Super lube, synthetic grease, it's pretty handy. So I just got back from that drive and painting the wheels and whatnot. Um, so I hooked this pressure gauge up to the tire. I wanted to show you guys what it sits at right now. It's about 59 and a half PSI. Um, that's about within, you know, five PSI. Uh, on the current controller, so we're gonna go and install the MRAP controller. I cleaned it up Looks almost brand new clean it up with a toothbrush and then some Durance tire wet Look at that So we'll put this uh, CTIS box in You guys probably ask what that endurance stuff is so I better show you it also doubles as an air freshener because it smells like grapes. It's the same thing that I use on the tires uh, before I paint the wheels because the paint doesn't stick to this stuff. So that was a tip in an earlier video if you guys have been on my channel for a while. But anyhow, uh, let me get in the cab here and swap this over. Fire up the truck and see if we can get a higher highway pressure for Abel. Alright guys, I got that installed. Let's test it, see if it works. Fire up the truck here, we'll get out and we'll go look at that gauge. Looks like it's flashing, which means it's trying to inflate to a higher pressure, so let's go down and check it out. for the air tanks to uh, recover as well so there it goes I'm gonna turn the throttle up a bit here that'll help it
just stop filling the tires. I turn the idle back down. Woo, buddy. 80 PSI. That's gonna be, that's gonna be awesome. Got a lot done today, guys, and uh, I wanted to thank everybody on the uh, LMTV Facebook page for giving me some tips for some of the projects that I was working on today. They were really helpful, uh, especially getting the uh, tires swapped around and rotated. Uh, the shovel trick was awesome. Thanks so much for that. Uh, I want to give a shout out to Derek for um, sending me that those parts uh, priority. And uh, we'll be able to go on an adventure this weekend uh, with a higher tire pressure. Try that out. And uh, with the new cab mount bushing, so uh, it's not rattling around on that side so much. But that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Uh, I want to thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy what you saw, hit like, hit subscribe. Tell your friends, share it on social media. I really appreciate it. And I will catch you guys next time. See you later. Bye-bye.